Hey everybody, happy Monday! I hope you all had a great weekend. I feel like I haven't been on here in so long. And I apologize. Um, it's been a rough couple of weeks. I'm going to keep it real with you all. Um, just not been feeling too good and just been having a hard time mentally with everything that's going on. And um, yeah, I honestly just haven't felt myself in the last couple of weeks and I know if I came on and did videos it would be very obvious in them and I want people to come to my page and to watch my videos to have fun and to relax and get away from negativity so I figured I would take a little break um, because I want it to be good content for you guys. I want to be able to come on here and be happy and just be the bright spot in somebody's day. I don't want to be Debbie Downer on my videos. So um, I figured I would take a little bit of time just to get my head back in a good place. Um, got some stuff done that really needed to get done. Um, worked on getting my makeup area done and reorganized and um, been doing stuff around the house remodeling the kitchen and um, yeah just trying to get back in a good headspace I've been struggling with weight um, really bad in the last two three weeks um, actually maybe even four weeks and I've really really had a hard time and I've put on some weight um, not so much that it's showing up on the scale but it's showing up in how I feel and how I look and um, while I talk to you guys about that let me start off with some primer because primer is so important and it should sit on your face for a couple of minutes so I'm going to go in with the strobe primer which is the purple Two. Both our primers are really good and both are excellent for any skin type. So it just depends on what kind of final look you want. The probe, the probe, the strobe primer is going to give you a more luminous dewy look and the silver primer gives you more of a basic um, matte look, not so much of a dewy luminous look, but both will help with those fine lines, wrinkles and to fill in your pores. So it's totally up to you which one you want to use. So yes, so getting back to Weight Watchers and my weight. Um, as some of you know, I've been on Weight Watchers for over a year now and I've always struggled with my weight. It's always been an issue. I've been overweight for m most of my life. But I had really reached a point where I was like in a size 20, almost, yeah, 20 and like a 3x top. And I was just miserable. I hated how I looked in pictures. I hated everything about how my body looked, how I felt. I was always tired. I never felt good. So I had made the um, decision to go on Weight Watchers, which has been really good for me. And I did get off of it. And the minute I got off of it, I started to slowly creep up a little bit because I need that accountability. So I did rejoin Weight Watchers and then doing that again. Um, I'm just having a hard time losing it. Not that I gained a lot. I gained like five, five pounds, almost six pounds over the course of a few months. But five or six pounds for anyone who's lost weight and gained it back, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, when you lose weight and you gain it back, it feels so much more than it did before because you know you're used to knowing what it feels like to not have that weight on you so when you gain it back it feels like six pounds feels like 12 pounds or 15 pounds you just feel miserable like really bad and I've been fighting with that because um, I really haven't felt well and I know it's because I hadn't been eating properly I hadn't been counting my points I've been making some bad um, food choices so I really needed to just take a little bit of a break from everything from pharmacy from um, social media from everything and kind of get back and reel myself back in and kind of start to focus on me again 
um, because I am a very organized person. I need to have structure and I am someone who will help everybody before I help myself and I will never say no to anybody. So I found myself getting in that position again where I was saying yes to everybody and um, not doing what I needed to for me. So um, I needed to just rein back a little bit and take some time to focus and journal and see where I was, where I'm at right now and what I needed to do to get back to where I was before, where I felt good and was healthier. So that's what I did, guys. Um, that's, that's the honest truth. Um, I just needed a few minutes to myself, so. I have been just doing that and just kind of refocusing on everything that is important to me and that I needed to do. So, and of course, pharmacy is extremely important to me. And I've been working on that behind the scenes. That never got put on the back burner. I've been working um, my business right along. I just didn't do it on social media platforms where you actually saw me. I was doing it through posts and through connecting with new customers and old customers and, um, you know, helping the girls on my team and stuff, which I love to do. That's never a bother. Um, I love my team. I love all the girls. I love helping them. I love to see them succeed and I want them to succeed. But I was just kind of doing it from the background, not so much by videos and showing you tutorials, um, doing giveaways, things like that to let you guys know I was still there and still doing it. And um, still trying to thank my customers. It's the end of the month and I always try to thank my customers, both old and new, by doing giveaways. So yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing, guys, just to give you an update. Um, so today I am going to do um, liquid serum number four and I mixed a little bit of BB cream in there because I'm really low on the actual liquid serum. So I kind of just mixed the two together. So it'd be liquid serum number four and then BB um, balm in zero two, which is light to medium. So I did get a new vlogging camera to do my videos. I am just waiting on a desk um, to come in because now with my vanity mirror, um, it's really hard for me to use the camera. I don't have enough um, space in front of the vanity mirror to set up my tripod for the camera. So I found a really nice desk at Big Lots and I am going to just go get that. They only had one left in stock and it's in Warwick. So um, I'm gonna have to go get that from there but it's really nice, it's white, it's long but it and it's wide, but it has like cubbies and then it has like a shelf. So I'll be able to put my vanity mirror on top of that shelf and then put my products underneath and set up my camera. So I think that it's going to be a lot better because I can set up the tripod for my camera at the top with my vanity mirror and then have all the space at the bottom to lay everything out of all the products that I'm gonna use while I'm doing the video. So I think that's gonna be a much better um, fit for me. And I did get a new um, chair for my desk. It's really cute. You guys can see, I, I always have that blanket. It was my mother's quilt, so I always have it there, but it's just a pink, pretty, like um, comfy chair. No arms or anything, but I never, I don't know, I don't like having arms on my chair when I'm doing videos. It kind of gets in my way. So, and I'm still dealing with the acne or um, rash from the mask. I honestly don't know what it is, guys, but it's still there. It's still going strong. Um, I get rid of it using the tea tree and the aloe and then it comes back. So I'm assuming it's just maybe like a heat rash. They're not, it's not pimples. I really don't think it's acne um, for some reason. I really do think it's just um, a rash, a heat rash. 
don't mind me guys if you see me kind of crouching down it's because i'm trying this chair is a lot higher than my vanity mirror so in order for me to see in the mirror part i need to scooch down a little bit okay so we have our foundation on i am just making sure that's all blended guys i don't want any thing to be Make sure you get the crevices of your nose. You want to get um, down your jawline, all down your neck, so that's all blended. I'm just putting a little bit more on the tip of my nose because it's a little red. My skin's been wreaking havoc with me because I, in the last couple of weeks, I really honestly wasn't doing my skincare like I should be. And it shows. It was funny because this morning um, I ran out and did a couple of errands and when I got home, I have a habit of coming in the house, I wash my hands really well and then I wash my face with my aloe scrub or my al one of my cleansers from pharmacy and I'd forgotten how good it felt to do that because I hadn't really been doing that the last week or so. So I came home and I just splashed with cold water. I put my product on, I washed my face, rinsed it. And it was like, oh, God, I miss this. Like I've forgotten how good it feels to just come back from being outside and just rinsing all that away off your face and just putting on moisturizer. Oh, it felt so good. I used the aloe scrub and then I went in with my aloe lotion and I felt so much better. It's funny because people, you know, like people joke and make like jokes about it, but I'm telling you guys, it's so important to do self care. It's not selfish. It's just really needed. You really have to do self care. It makes such a difference. It really does. If you don't take care of your skin, you don't take care of your body, it starts to really like break down on you. Like it's your body's way of saying, hey, you're ignoring me. Like you need to, you know, you need to stop paying attention to me. And that's what happened with me, my body. Like I have, um, I've suffered for endom from endometriosis most of my life. I have diverticulitis. I have a lot of gastro issues and stomach issues. And um, I've just had a lot of health issues most of my life. So I have to be really careful what I put in my body, what I eat, how much I eat and things like that. And the minute I don't, my stomach lets me know. And my stomach's been very upset with me lately. I'm just gonna grab a brush guys um, I just need to bring my brushes over so yeah it's time to just get back on track now I'm gonna go in with our CC powder it's from the Be Fit line and I'm just gonna go in and lightly set my face so guys I have been in love with the new peach palette. Absolutely adore it. It's so good. Anybody that's looking for a new palette to um, mix up with the three-in-one palette that we offer, you guys have to get this peach palette. It's so good. So, so good. Okay, so we have our powder on. We've set our eyelids, so we are good to go to the next step. Okay, today I want to do a lip look that's going to be very bold and dark, so I want to go very neutral on the eye. I do want to do just a brown neutral look. Surprise, I know. Like, when don't I do that, even when I'm not using a bold lip? But you know me, guys, you know. Okay, so I am going to go in with our Face Sculpting Palette. Turn that around. And I'm going to go in with the lightest shade right now. And I'm just going to put that all over my lids. And brow. Just as a base. Yeah. 
and it's so hot guys I don't know if where all of you are from but it is hot hot here it's so so miserable out okay now in the crease I am gonna go in with a pressed powder. This is gonna be in the shade 102 and it's a pressed powder, face powder, but I use it for eyeshadow. I really like it in my crease. You're gonna tap off and I am gonna just have my, uh, let me clean the mirror off so I can see. I'm going to just use this so I can see where I'm putting this. <laughs> So I, in the meantime, since I've been, I feel like I have so much to tell you guys while I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, so I been organizing my makeup area and I ordered some really cute gadgets and cool gadgets. And one of them I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. I got it off of Amazon and I cannot wait because this is going to solve so many of my problems. <laughs> I've been like really loving Amazon. I never realized how much stuff you can get from Amazon and how reasonable it is. Like they have everything on that site, everything. It's so cool and I got Prime for free for 30 days, so I've been getting free shipping. So I ordered some stuff that I needed and a few things that I didn't need that I just wanted. <laughs> Nothing crazy, not expensive, just like cute little gadgets. So I did that and then I ordered my favorite pasta. Any of you that are on a Weight, Watch, Weight Watchers program or weight loss journey and you love pasta, Go on Amazon and type in carbonata pasta. You will not regret it, guys. It is the best pasta I've ever had. It tastes just like real pasta. And it's three points for a serving. And you don't need a lot. What I do is I'll like do a serving. I'll cook up a serving and then I'll add grilled chicken, like a boiled egg. Um, a little bit of avocado, some lemon, garlic. Oh my God, it makes such a good, good meal and it's filling. It's so good. And they have different um, flavors. Like they have a base, um, lemon pepper, I think. And then it's egg noodle. There's a garlic one, which is the one that I use. And I'm telling you guys, it's so good. You have to, have to try it. You have to. All right, so now on the lids, I'm going to go in with the high, uh, the face sculpting palette. And I'm going to go in with this. Um, actually, I'm going to go in with this on the outer corner. And again, I'm just tapping off. And I'm going to put that on my outer corner. So I did that, I ordered my pastas and I ordered some, um, they're called pitos and they're supposed to be really good tasting. So I'm anxious for those to come in and try those. I'm always looking for like things that I can eat that are different because the only thing like well, on Weight Watchers, honestly, guys, you'll never get bored of what you eat because there's so many things that you can eat, like so many choices. You never get, you're only going to get tired of eating it if you um, want to be because there's just so much you can choose from. I'm just wiping that little bit of fallout that's underneath. And I'm going to go back in and... clean that up. So 
I ordered that and I can't wait to try it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the middle shade now from the Face Sculpting Palette, and that's gonna go on the lids. On our lid. Right in the inner part of the lid. I'm leaving the out, outer corner a little bit darker. So I have been coming up with like looks to do with the peach palette. There's like so many really nice looks that I've seen. I've been watching some of the other girls and all their looks. So I've been doing that and coming up with ideas to show you guys. Okay. So yeah, so I'm hoping that I will lose the weight that I gained back and that I will start to feel a little bit better um, and get back into the swing of things because I hate when my body doesn't feel right. I hate when I don't feel right mentally. Um, so I'm just hoping and praying that I start to feel a little bit better and stop being able to do videos again because I've missed you guys. I love like, I love doing all these videos for you guys and showing you all the different looks and I just love it so much. Let me grab another brush. I need to grab, I put all my brushes off to the side so that they weren't all cluttering up my um, desktop. All right, I'm gonna go in with that middle shade and I'm going to take that underneath my lash line. We'll see if this is gonna be dark enough. I cannot believe that summer is like, July is done. It's crazy, guys. It just is going by so, so fast. I can't. All right, I'm gonna go in, I think, with back into, was it 101? 101. And I'm gonna go in with 101 and put that underneath. Um, just because I feel like the other shade was a little too light. So the 29th, guys, is a lipstick, National Lipstick Day. Um, so I'm curious. I have a giveaway going on for that. I'm curious to see what people are going to do. If anyone's going to post like different looks, I hope so. I hope to see like everybody posting pictures of their favorite lipstick colors and I um, put a post up, a giveaway post, asking people like, what's your favorite? Is it lipstick, liquid matte lipstick, lip gloss, lip liner? Do you just use chapstick? Like, I'm, I'm just so curious to know what everyone's favorite, um, like favorite lip products are. And I just feel like I got shat, uh, powder in my eye. Not fun feeling. Okay, so we have the line, um, we used the powder underneath our eyes. So that's done. Now we're gonna go in with some Zen Mascara and put that on. And then we're gonna do, actually, you know what guys? Let me, before we do um, mascara, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do a little bit of contour and a little bit of um, up, like some, just to warm up the skin a little bit. Uh, let's see, let me go in with this brush. It always looks crazy before you blend it in at least on me. Yeah, I'm 
I'm gonna bring a little bit down. Always looks a little crazy until you blend it. Plus, I really can't see what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, put a little bit up here. And I want to try and blend that into my hairline. And then what I try to do is I try to kind of do like a C so that that contour kind of comes down and around. And then I go in the middle. And like I said, I take it down. You can do a little bit here. And then what you can do if you want, you can take a smaller brush. And I'm just combining these two together. And then you can just kind of go up. on the sides just to kind of contour a little bit and um, and then i'll blend all that out with a big fluffy brush so big fluffy brush and blend and then it doesn't look crazy i'm not like a big contour person so i'm not really good at it but I'm trying to get better at it so I'm trying now let me go in with another small brush and blend that out okay that looks good. I think that's good. And let me just go back in with my sponge and make sure that that's all blended nicely. I'm just going to put on a little tiny bit of, I don't know why, the tip of my nose just doesn't want to, like, doesn't seem to want to hold foundation lately. I don't know what it is, but it just doesn't want to. Okay, so now let's go in with some blush. And for that, I am going to go in with, um, I think I might go in with the peach palette because I don't want pink. So I think I'm going to go in, yeah, I'm going to go in with the Peach Bite Palette. Um, yeah, Peach Bite Palette. I'm making sure. I'm going to go in with this for my blush because I want to keep it kind of neutral. I can hear the birds chirping. I have a few that sit on my windowsill. They're so cute. They're tiny. And they just sit on my windowsill and they chirp. Okay, so we have, we have our blush. And then I'm going to go in with the highlighter from this palette, from the Peach Bite. And I'm going to just place a little bit right on the top right here. Not a lot. I just want a little bit and you can take it up a little bit almost you know like a C 
and you can bring a little bit down the center of your nose A little bit above the cupid's bow and then what I like to do sometimes is I'll take like a little brush and take that highlight from the palette and just slightly put a little bit right under your brow bone and that's gonna just give it a little bit of lightness and a little bit of a glowiness okay so we have highlights now we're gonna go in with mascara okay so we're gonna use the Zen and I do need my little palette so I can see and guys Zen is like one of our most popular sellers it's eight dollars and ninety cents it's an amazing mascara you will not be disappointed with this mascara you can have the lightest lashes the smallest lashes and you will definitely get something out of this mascara it's very um pigmented and it has a very unique wand. So you're gonna get length, you're gonna get volume, you're gonna get um, dimension with this mascara. It just, in definition, it's just a really good mascara. And for $8.90, guys, I mean, that's incredible. It's so good. And you should replace your mascara every three months. So when you think about it, think about it, three every three months, so 890 divided by three. I mean, that is ridiculous for such a good mascara. Like, that's crazy. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the other eye and then I'll see if I wanna do a second coat. When you think about what pharmacy mascaras go for now, and half of them don't do what they promise they're going to do. They show you these pictures of the girls, but they all have false eyelashes on. And you're thinking that you're gonna get that same result and it's not gonna happen, guys. It's not gonna happen. Not unless you're gonna put falsies on too which don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong. If you like false eyelashes, hey, more power to you. I'm just scared to put them on. If I, if I knew how to do them well and I wasn't so nervous about anything being in my eye, I probably would wear them all the time too. But fortunately for me, I don't have to because I have pharmacy makeup, so, and pharmacy mascaras, so. I'm a true believer, like, I don't, I'm not going to put anything on my eye that I don't need to. And with this mascara, I don't need to wear false eyelashes. But I know a lot of girls that do. So even if you do wear false eyelashes, guys, you can still try out our mascaras for those days that you don't want to. Or if you also, um set your lashes with mascara when you do use falsies so a lot of people i know will go in with mascara and um do their their eyelashes with the false eyelashes on and that's perfectly fine but for those days that you don't want to we got you covered i got you girl or guy yep and we are going to be coming out with lashes which is going to be awesome 
so I'm not sure when yet. They haven't announced a date, but I will keep you guys posted and let you know. When I hear, you'll hear. So guys, make sure that you visit my page so that you can check out the new giveaway in honor of National Lipstick Day, which is the 29th. You can go check out that. And I encourage you to go on to my online catalog and take a look at all the lipsticks that we have to offer. We have so many. We have glosses, we have BB mattes, we have regular lipsticks, we have liquid matte lipsticks, we have lip plumpers, we have lip conditioner. I mean, the possibilities are endless. And you can mix and match. You can get a matte lipstick and then get a regular lipstick or get the plumper in one of our lipsticks. Um, the plump is really nice. It doesn't really hurt your lips at all. It doesn't irritate them. It's just a really cool, refreshing, minty feeling to your lips. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting, um, at least not for me. And I have sensitive um, lips. I'm not a big fan of lip plumpers. And I use ours all the time. So I'm really, I'm really happy with it. So make sure you go check that out. Our lip conditioners are, is amazing. Like I say, uh, yeah, not conditioners, one conditioner. It's amazing though, it is. It's really good, better than any chapstick that I've ever used. Um, I like it, <laughs> excuse me. I like it as much as my, um, my Laneige. And I didn't think that I would ever find anything that I liked as much as that. Um, like I was, sorry guys. I was a die-hard fan of this stuff, but it's very expensive. And ever since I started pharmacy and I've been using theirs, I hardly ever use this now. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, excuse me, guys. My allergies. Oh, my God. My allergies, guys, have been so bad. So, so bad. I don't know if everyone else is having the same problems, but mine have been wreaking havoc with me. Okay, let me just, now that I sneezed. <laughs> oh, I feel like I messed up my eyelashes now. Let me just, don't you hate that? When you just put mascara on and then you have to sneeze? It is like the worst thing. You're just like, oh God, no, please. Not now. Let me sneeze after it's dried. Okay. I think I recovered them. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, my top, guys, too. Meant to tell you, my top is from Marshalls. I love it. It's so pretty. It's very comfortable, it's very light, it's very airy, I love it. It like doesn't make me hot and it has like these little like bell sleeves. It's just really cute and I got it on sale. Who doesn't love that? Okay, now we need to get a lip liner out so that we can get ready because this is going to be quite the lip look, guys. Okay. So let me see. What color am I going to want to go with? Let me just swatch on my hand. I don't want to go too bright. Um, I think I might do... 
me see. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this one. So I'm gonna line our lips with 219, 219. And I try to always line my lip when I'm gonna do a bold lip color. because one, it helps me when I'm putting the color on so it doesn't get everywhere, but it just acts as a really good guide for me. And a really good base. I'm like way away from the mirror. And I always usually overdraw my lips a little. And then I'll go in and I kind of smudge it out. I like a really accentuated um, Cupid's bow. So I tend to overdraw on my Cupid's bow. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a combo of two lip liquid matte lipsticks. We're going to use um, number six and number 10. So Superstar and Sweet Cherry. And it doesn't really matter. I don't find it really matters which one you go in with first. But I'm going to go in with 06 first. And this color is so intimidating, guys, but it's so worth it because it's beautiful. Let me get my mirror. And just take your time, guys. You have to go slow. Because this color is beautiful, but it's not as forgiving as some of the other ones. And the other reason it's good to have the lip liner is because you don't want it to bleed out. I've never had ours bleed out. I've never had one of our liquid mattes like bleed into the little lines, but you never know. Better safe than sorry. And then I take my brush and I kind of go on the inner part of my lip. That way when you're talking, you don't get that pinky, the, you know, your natural lip uh, shining through like over here. You see red and not the pink of your lips is what I was trying to say. Okay, now I'm going to go in over top of that with number 10. And it gives you the most beautiful, like, burgundy wine color. It's so beautiful, guys. The 
The combo is just amazing. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. So see how beautiful that is? It just, Superstar can be a really intimidating red. It's a beautiful red, but it can be really intimidating. But when you put that sweet cherry mixed with it, it gives you such a beautiful, almost like a blood ox red, like that grungy red look. I, it's just beautiful guys. It's so stunning. It just, it's so good. Okay, so that's the look, guys. And like I said, I mean, that's just, that's just beautiful. Look at that. What a way to represent National Lipstick Day coming up. I mean, you don't get much better than that. That is gorgeous. So make sure you go onto my site, onto my catalog, and order Superstar and Sweet Cherry, mix them together. Mm -mm, you are not going to regret it, especially for date night, like a little black dress, some earrings, heels. Oh, your, your significant other will not be able to take their eyes off of you. I guarantee you if you're wearing this. I mean, this looks beautiful. Anybody can have beautiful, like, really beautiful lips with this color combo. And it also makes your lips like look plumper. It's just so pretty, so, so pretty. And then you can go back in if you wanted to and just add a little bit more highlight to your, if you wanted to just kind of accentuate that even a little bit more. You could put a little bit more of the highlight. And let me just fix underneath my eye. Because that sneezing attack. Messed up my makeup. Then what I do, guys, is I'll go in with that beauty blender. It's still damp. I use the side that doesn't have any product on it and I'll just go in now and lightly go over and it just helps to blend in all that product it melts it into the skin and it helps to make it not look so matte because I have really dry skin so I don't like my skin to look matte I like the glow and by doing this it just adds a little bit of moisture back into my face and gives me more of that glowy look that I like but that's up to you if you like the matte look then you would just leave it the way it was but I am a big fan of a very dewy um like very dewy moisturized look okay so that's all set. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our Pharmacy B Fit Spray and I'm gonna spray um, my face. And that's going to help lock in the makeup. It's gonna provide some extra moisture. It's very cooling. It feels amazing, especially on hot days like this. So, so guys, that's the look. I hope it was worth the wait. And I know it's been a little while since I did a video. So let me recap. We went in with, we did um, a mix of 04 liquid serum with BB cream in 02. Then we did um, CC powder to set our face. I just feel like I have mascara everywhere. Then we used 01, I mean, 101 and 102 pressed powders on our eyes for shadow. Then we went in with the face sculpting palette and we used these also as shadow on our eyes. Then for blush, we went into the Peach Bite palette and we used this as our blush and this as our highlighter. Then we used Zen Mascara and we used 
Superstar and Sweet Cherry Liquid Matte Lipstick 06 and number 10 on our lips combined. And we used the liner in the number 219 for lip liner. And am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I think so. I think I got everything. So this is the final look, guys. I hope that you like it. I hope that you'll want to recreate it. Um, before I go, I want to show you one of the little cute gadgets I got. This is a Spatty, Extend Your Beauty Spatty Times 2 Cosmetic. Um, get up to 25% more product. Get to the bottom of your products. So you can see one's really, really long, and then there's a smaller um, tinier ones so they have two different shapes but it's to get the extra products out of your foundation or skincare you stick the little spatulas in there and move it around and all the product comes up on that spatula pot isn't that amazing guys I am so excited to try this especially like with our um, foundations the ones the serum and the VFX because they're in bottles this is going to be like so amazing to get that every little little bit left that's in there out. And then for skincare products like the Age Reverse and some of the other products, you're going to be able to get right in there with those spatulas. So I am so excited, guys. This is like Christmas for me. Like I have never been so excited about anything in a long time. <laughs> I'm like gotten addicted now to to Amazon I have yikes but and I got new organizers for my makeup so I'm so excited about that because now I have everything where I can see it and right where I want it so that's good so anyways guys anybody who's looking to order please feel free to go visit my online virtual catalog at www.pharmacyus.com forward slash Charlotte Cardoso 2. You can shop for any of the products there. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I will get right back to you. Um, also, you can go to my personal website at www.charlottescosmeticsandmore.com. As always, you find me on Facebook at Charlotte's Cosmetics and More. That is where I do all my videos. I post those. I post giveaways. I post information about upcoming products, new product alerts, all that good stuff. So make sure you're following me on there. Like and share that page if you'd like to. That helps me so much. It helps me with Facebook and getting my name out there and my page out there. Um, I really do rely on word of mouth and likes and shares with this type of business. So I appreciate everybody who does that for me. Um, I do do giveaways as many times as I can as thank you to customers that not only buy from me, but people that do like and share my page and spread the word and send me customers. I appreciate that so much. And it's just a way for me to say thank you to you guys. So I do appreciate that. Um, so yeah. So anyways, guys, it was so nice to do a video for you guys. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope your summer's going well. I promise I'm going to try and get back into doing more videos for you and some lives. Um, and I'm really sorry for the absence. Um, I just did not want to come on here and be down in the dumps and not be bubbly and happy and you know I just want when you guys come on I want you guys to have fun and to look forward to the videos and to smile and get a laugh out of my videos you know to be able to just come here to relax and to get away from everything and you can't do that if someone's not in a good mental state in a headspace that's good and positive and happy it reflects on camera so I didn't want to do that to anybody I don't want anyone to come on and get depressed um after watching me so but thank you so much, guys, for all the support, too. Thank you to everyone who's known that I've been struggling a little bit these last two weeks. And that's, you know, just checked in on me and just 
sent me little inspirational things. I appreciate that. I love you guys so much. So anyone too that's struggling right now with mental health issues or anxiety or anything like that or weight issues, weight loss um, journey issues, please, please guys reach out to me. I will be there for you guys. I, I wanna help anyone that's going through any of those things. I know how it is. And I'm here for you. If you need me, just reach out to me, especially for weight loss. I mean, ugh, I know how hard it is and I know the struggles and how, just how frustrating it is when you put that a little bit of weight back on and you're struggling to get it back off and you start to feel not good about yourself or that you failed. Please know you've never failed. It's just a setback, get back up and work a little bit harder and it will come back off. Um, it's never a failure. Um, it's only a failure if you don't try to fix it. So never think that you're a failure if you fall off that weight loss wagon. I assure you, you can get back on it and get back on track and I will be more than happy to help you with that. Um, so yeah, and as far as mental health, anxiety issues, Girl, I know exactly what that's all about and how it can be. So please, if you ever need someone to talk to, you need a shoulder, reach out to me, please, anytime, day or night, um, please reach out. Okay, so guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and evening. And I will try to be back tomorrow with another look, maybe using the Peach Bite palette. And um, so take care of yourselves, guys. And make sure you go check out the giveaway and the other information that's posted on my page. Thanks so much. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.